and welcome to our session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, a particle starting from some initial velocity and moving with uniform acceleration acquires a velocity of 20 cm per second after moving through 10 cm from a point P to Q and a velocity of 30 cm per second after further moving 20 cm from Q to R in the same direction. Fine. First part is its velocity at the point P. Second part is its acceleration. Third part is the time it will take and the distance it will move from R to attain a velocity of 40 cm per second. Let's begin with the solution. Now the initial position of the particle is at the point P. Now, according to the question, particle moves through 10 cm from point P to Q and it requires a velocity of 20 cm per second. After that, it moves from point Q to R and both of these points are at 20 cm far from each other. And the velocity of the particle is 30 cm per second. We have to find the velocity of the particle at point P, then we have to find its acceleration, then we have to find the time it will take and the distance it will move from R to attain a velocity of 40 cm per second. Now let's first consider distance QR. Now this velocity becomes the initial velocity of the particle when it's moved from point Q to R. So we have U as 20 cm per second and this is the final velocity of the particle that is 30 cm per second. Distance moved by the particle from point Q to R is 20 cm. Now, we know that V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. So, by using this equation, we will now find A. Now, by substituting values of U, V and S, we get 30 square equals to 20 square plus 2 into A into 20. Now, this implies... 900 is equal to 400 plus 40A. This implies 500 is equal to 40A. And this implies, this implies A is equal to 25 by 2 centimeter per second square. So acceleration of the particle is 25 by 2 centimeter per second square. Distance PQ let initial velocity of particle is U centimeter per second. Right. The final velocity of the particle when it travels from point P to Q is 20 centimeter per second. And the distance between point P and point Q is 10 centimeters. So S is equal to 10 centimeters. Acceleration of the particle is 25 by 2 centimeter per second square. Now we know that V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. So by using this equation we will now find initial.
initial velocity of the particle. Now V is 20 centimeter per second, U is initial velocity of particle, A is 25 by 2 centimeter per second square and S is 10. Now this implies 400 is equal to U square plus 250. This implies U square is equal to 150. And this implies U is equal to square root of 150 centimeter per second. This implies U is equal to 5 into root 6 centimeter per second. Now, for motion after R, Final velocity of the particle is 40 cm per second. Acceleration of the particle is 25 by 2 cm per second square. And initial velocity of the particle is 30 cm per second. We know that V is equal to U plus AT. So now by using this equation we will now find T. V is 40, U is 30, and A is 25 by 2. Now this implies 10 is equal to 25 by 2 into T. And this implies 20 by 25 is equal to T. That means T is equal to 20 by 25 seconds. Now, we also know that V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. So by using this equation, we will now find S. Now, this implies S is equal to V squared minus U squared divided by 2A. Now, this is equal to V minus U into V plus U divided by 2A. V is 40 and U is 30 and A is 25 by 2. This is equal to 10 into 70 divided by 25 and this is equal to 28 centimeters. A required answer of the first part is 5 into root 6 centimeter per second. Answer for the second part is 25 by 2 centimeter per second square. And answer of the third part is 20 by 25 seconds and S is 28 centimeters. So these are our required answers. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.